Hi everybody, today we'll talk about the launch of the new Paolo Faon di Revel. The Paolo Faon di Revel is the first ship of the PPA class, Pattugliatore Polivalente d'Altura. This class is divided in three different subversions. The Paolo Faon di Revel is the first ship of the light subversion. This is the patrol version and the pennant number of the vessel is P430. This ship has been launched yesterday, the 15th of June 2019, with the presence of the Minister of Defense Elisabetta Trenta, the Navy Chief of Staff Walter Girardelli, and the Administrator of Fincantieri Giuseppe Bono. The light version is created to be a patrol vessel capable of self-defense thanks to its 12764 LW high-caliber Vulcano gun system, 17662 medium-caliber gun, and two 25mm remotely controlled guns. The total displacement of the ship in the current version is 6270 tons, that it could be a rise of a few hundred tons in case it will be upgraded to the full version. The vessel is 132.5 meters long and it will start the first sea voyage this October, while the ship will be delivered in 2021. The second PPA will also be a light version, the third will be a light plus and the fourth will be the first full version. The full version will be a highly multi-role ship, thanks to its long-range air-to-air defense system, the anti-ballistic missile capabilities thanks to the Aster 30 b one nt and the long-range anti-ship and ground strike capabilities thanks to the new Teseo Evo. At the end of the ceremony, Giuseppe Bono said that in the near future, Fincantieri should receive the contract for the new U-212 NFS subs for the Italian Navy. Instead, the Navy Chief of Staff Girardelli talked about the next projects for the Navy, talking about the EPC Corvette, saying that France, Poland and Romania would be interested in a collaboration with Italy. He also talked about the DDX program that should take the place of the Durand de la Pen class and the new Mine Hunters with long range mission capabilities. I would like to ask for your help translating this video in other languages. You can do so by clicking on the options on the right lower corner of the video, select subtitles and add subtitles. This would help me immensely in the making of these videos.